Divas, what's up divas? What's up YouTube? I just want to say that you guys, I love you all and I thank you for supporting me and staying tuned to my video. I did do like a couple of videos prior to this one, but I decided, you know, save the best for last. And for some reason, my always save the best for last be an RPG show with because I ain't about to take that off. So, you know, we're about to see. I have some others that is my favorite. But this time around, they sent me one of their fake scout wigs. It is 20 inches long and it is in the color natural i do believe it is the color natural and it's a silky texture so for me it felt a little bit you know not as silky as most of their wigs like in the front area just right here in these two portions i'm not complaining because i kind of liked it i put like these kind of beachy wigs only at the end because my whole point of styling this wig was to wear it straight because i really do like like the flow of the hair like it's thick especially when you brush it out let me tell y'all this is the fake scalp it comes with the combs right here and then this portion right here which is all 13 by 6 inches of parting and it's all fake scalp. Also in the back is the adjustable strap in the nape and they also do sew in an elastic band for you which you can adjust in size just like you adjust your bra hooks. Okay, so I'm going to just put it real tight because... I like it to squeeze real tight. This one is the Marie 001-P. Like I said, 20 inches. The color is natural. It's a glueless full lace cap. This is in the tinted transparent Swiss lace medium brown. So let's do this wig. Guys. All right, you guys. So get into this wig tutorial with me. Now, as you guys see, the part is really, like, predominant. Do you see that part? Like, it looks so nice. Now, I did pre-pluck some of the hairline, like I told you guys. I just stopped plucking it right up to the fake scalp part. I didn't really know how that would react. I probably may go back and try to pre-pluck a little bit more. But anyway, you want to take your small pair of scissors and just cut away at the lace. Try not to cut too close. Um, the lace on this unit by RPG show is amazing like it's so transparent you can barely see the lace on it which is a great thing because you don't really need a lot of baby hairs and this wig was inspired by Precious Marie on YouTube for the design of the fake scalp lace wig. I really do like it. This one has bleach knots. I've had no issue with the bleach knots on RPG Show's unit. As you guys have seen me do other tutorials where the knots were not bleached. So this one is definitely one where you could just take it out of the box and just put it on unless you want to just bleach the first portion of the hairline like up to the first inch or if you want to pre-pluck it. Other than that, you can just put it right on and go. So if I did forget to mention the density, I will def definitely leave it down below. I can't remember if it was 150 180 or 200 but i'll definitely link the information for down below and now all i'm going to do is create some of my sideburn hairs with one of my rat tail combs and also along with that just a little bit of wispy hairs i'm definitely not going to use them all you don't have to in the rpg show wigs And the color that I got in the fake scalp is a color medium brown. It's 20 inches in length. And the front portion of the hairline up to the first two inches is yakky straight hair. And then it goes to silky straight. I'm not really sure why they did that, but it does allow it to press easily. It keeps the hair flow just, you know, a little bit better versus the flyaway hairs there's no flyaway hairs with the yakky hair i love yakky hair. i wish the whole thing was yakky but either way i love rpg show wigs they are amazing so as you guys seen i did use my hairspray to apply the wig you don't have to it does come with combs and an elastic band i'm also going to take my scissors and i'm going to cut the side hairs now if you don't have a blow dryer to blow dry your hairspray then you can just allow it to hair um, you can allow it to air dry it takes a couple of minutes you don't have to hairspray the entire wig at once just do it in small sections and just use your rat tail comb to press it down but i just use a blow dryer just for video's sake and this part right here is some of the got to be glam force gel i'm just going to use that right here on the sideburn hairs i always have to have sideburn hairs it makes me feel like the wig is really like more natural And I also always tell you guys, make sure you have some hair clips on hand because they do come in handy when styling your hair, when doing baby hairs, when cutting the hair, when cutting the lace. Hair clips are a really important tool to have when doing your hair. 
Now this is only supposed to be 20 inches, but ladies, it looks like it's way more than 20 inches, but I'm not gonna complain about that. RPG shows wigs always look longer than their length. And this came out really cute. I like it. I like the straightness of it. I like the versatility of it, as well as the fake scalp. I finally stopped running now. With you, I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back. Yeah. I'm in love with you in every way. The joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before Don't know if I'm dreaming I'm slipping away I hear your sweet voice Then I see your face I never knew you could love someone like me You climb my tower and you Set me free I never, never, never know Felt like this before I never, never, never know Felt the love like this I never, never, never know I don't have to do too much You see, I ain't really got that many baby hairs out on this bad boy Like, seriously this is an easy way. I told y'all, save the best for last. Like, for real, save the best for last. This is 20 inches, honey. RPG shows 20 inches be looking like 22, 24. Like, this is the longest 20, 20 inches I've ever seen. And I'm not complaining. But I like it. Like, it's cute. It fits good. I love their wigs. They always have, like, the best custom customization especially if it's a lace front you can still pull your hair out in the nape area or you can still put it up in a bun that's how good their wigs be and the lace is transparent girl if you melt it in your skin honey you don't even know you got a wig on like look girl okay you know me i like to just put it up in the bun hun but the first thing i have to do is kind of like flatten the side a little bit right here but you can do plenty of things with this wig it is a very stylable and you know optional you got options girl you got options you can put it up in ponytail girl do you okay this is some long hair you know i'm about to throw this right up in the bun okay girl it's pretty too i'm telling you guys save the best for last all right you guys so i love you stay diva and divalicious you know make sure you rate comment and subscribe all of the information will be down below in the box but y'all think about this wig like it's really cute though it's really like simple it's basic april that's how i'll be liking it basic april I never know.